Hi, I'm Lori Gauguin and I am a professional chef. I've cooked professionally for more than 20 years. And over the years, I have noticed that people have changed the way they approach the kitchen after watching how I work in the kitchen. And it's not necessarily the food that I prepare or the, the outcome of what I do in the kitchen. Sure, my food tastes great, but what people are really drawn to, I found, is the way that I cook. I love what I do, and it really comes across to other people, and I want to share some of that with you. I'm going to share a quote with you from my roommate when I was in my 20s. We were living together and she was new. She was a friend of a friend who moved into our place with a few other girls, so I didn't know her very well. And one day she came into the kitchen and she said, you know what, Lori, before I moved in here, I always thought of cooking as being this really menial task that women were required to do. But since I've been watching you in the kitchen, now I think that cooking's really cool. So <laughs> that was a huge compliment to me. We went on to be just fabulous friends, and we are still to this day. And from that point forward, she was cooking gourmet meals for her boyfriend and then her husband and now her children. And she sees the process of something that is very important. It's very, it's a reverential endeavor. It's a way of nurturing the people that she loves. And it's a way of being creative and getting grounded in herself. So those are the things that I want to share with you. I'm not going to talk about how to cook. I'm going to talk about why cook. There are plenty of recipes out there. I mean, personally, I think there are more than enough. There are millions, if not billions of recipes. All you need to do is do an internet search and you'll find whatever you're looking for. So that's already been done. So I'm going to leave that to that purview to, to the other people who've already done that. What I want to teach you is how to cook in a way that is reverential. And what I mean by that is cook in a way that's special. This is a way of nurturing yourself. And this is a way of showing that you matter and that your loved ones matter. And it's also a way of focusing your attention I mean, we live in the modern era today, and everyone's attention span is flitting here, there, 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 including mine. I mean, I'm guilty of that too. But when we're in the kitchen and we're really concentrating and focusing, we stabilize our mind, we become grounded and focused and centered. And it's very calming, and it's very satisfying. And it's a way just to get in tune with yourself and those that you love. We're gonna, I'm going to show you how to tune into your five senses. So what better place to do that than in the kitchen? But when you're tuned into your five senses, you pay attention to your surroundings. And your world just opens up in ways that it might not have before. For example, you might remark at the smell of freshly cut grass right after a rainfall. Remember how clean the air smells after that? Or looking out at a sunset and noticing the different colors and the how they blend one into the other. And that sometimes you have a pastel sky and sometimes you have a burnt fiery orange. And things that you might hear also. You might hear the crickets at night or hear the howling of a dog, or hear the pitter-patter of raindrops on your roof. These things matter. These things are what make our lives special and meaningful and glorious. So I'm going to teach you how to pay attention to your life and to really dig deep and just show appreciation and, like I just said, pay attention. <laughs>
<laughs> and know that the life out there and the life inside of you is beautiful and just ready to be tapped. So please join me. Push the subscribe button and you'll be notified of when the new videos are available. And I also have some other information below if you'd like to get in touch. Thanks so much and I will see you at the next video.